All right, let's take a look at our problem here. We have a function. It's a cubic function. And we want to find the relative extrema, relative uh, local minimums and maximums. Okay. So hopefully you have an idea of what a cubic looks like. Uh, we'll just draw it here. Of course, it says no calculator, so you won't have access to this. But it gives us an idea of what we're doing. So we're looking for the maximums. So that's where the derivative is 0. So that point there would be a maximum. This point here would be a local minimum. Again, the derivative is equal to 0. There's the point. Um, when we say the derivative is equal to 0, um, it's the same as saying the tangent is horizontal or has a gradient or slope of 0. So that's the fact that we're going to use here. So we're going to take the function and find the derivative. Relatively easy to do. You should work out all this stuff on paper just to check my, my algebra. Okay, so there's the derivative. And if we set it equal to 0, we will find the x values of these points. Okay, so we get a quadratic here. We can simplify it by dividing out a 6. We have a common factor of 6 there. So we get this, 2x squared minus x minus 1. Try to factorize it. It's relatively easy to factorize. Check my work, please. And there we go. Those are the factors. And then we solve for x. We get two answers, as expected. So x is negative 1 half, positive 1. OK, now we don't know if they're minimums or maximums. Um, so we do the second derivative test. So we get the second derivative again, an easy thing to get. And we plug these answers for x into there. So let's put in negative a half and see what we get. We get negative 18, which is less than 0. Okay, so this section of the graph here is concave down. Concave down means it's going to be a local maximum. Okay, so when x is negative a half, we have a local maximum. Now we put in positive 1 into the second derivative. Do that same test. And we get 18, which is greater than 0, which means it's concave up. Concave up. If it's concave up, then the extreme is a local minimum. OK, and there you have uh, the answer. OK, so we're using the first derivative and the second derivative there to, to learn about the function. All right. I hope that was helpful.